My name's Peter Chatfield and I've come along to allay some of your fears about Islam. I've, 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 I'm at the moment, if you're wondering why I'm laying like this, it's because I'm in a hospital bed and uh, I'm facing death, certain death, uh, quicker than say most of you out there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. I'd like to, to, to speak to people in general about Islam because I know that today we are looked at like we are some kind of poison. The news that is reaching the average person out there is derogatory nonsense that doesn't portray or even come near Islam and what it is and what it is not. Fifteen years ago, I picked up a book called the Quran, and I opened it and I started to read it. What I realized was that the Quran was a way of life. And I opened this book, the Quran, and what I noticed that was different about the Quran is that it was a system for life. It actually works. As I read through and I read the surahs, the meanings, and I got my head out of the, the, red, the red top syndrome, you know, the papers that you buy in this country, what I realized was Islam was a very beautiful religion or system for life. When I picked up the Quran, I noticed in there that it was very straightforward reading. It was very light on the head and as I adjusted to it, yes, I became Muslim. So I, I make, no, no, make no mistake about that. I see her talking to you tonight as a Muslim. And 15 years ago, that gift was given to me. But I also realize a lot of people out there are waking up and they're realizing that Islam coming through the right mouths, through the good people, is a wonderful religion. One thing that I got from when I became Muslim was my honor, my dignity, my way of life changed. I started to look after myself. Very practical things. And that is how it reads the Quran, a very practical book. There's no mystery about it. Um, we also believe in Jesus. A lot of you people out there don't know that, that we believe in Jesus as well. So do yourself a favour, you know. Sit down for once in your life, push all your prejudices out of your head and read a Quran. Islam offers another way. A way that we should have a good look at. And if you are fair in your judgment and you want a life that is complete, that is dignified and an offer to someone else where people will look at you and know that you stand up straight, then come to Islam and have a look for yourself and see what's really going on.